Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm joined by Zuri. Greetings. And today we are going over a nuclear build submitted by Nate. And uh, we haven't actually covered really any nuclear power builds since these very first ones near the very beginning of the series. So we figured it would be a nice change to come back around to it. And uh, this one was very recently submitted. It's uh, quite a large build here. It kind of extends out in all directions, but it is very symmetrical, which is uh, the first point I like about it. You know, these uh, symmetrical builds are always quite nice to look at. And uh, it is a 16 reactor build, so 8 here and 8 here. Um, I, I should say 16 physical reactors due to uh, adjacency bonus. This is actually kind of acting as way uh, far more reactors than that, uh, which is why I can support this much. And uh, it has some solar panels built in here for uh, running, like if you run out of power, um, where the nuclear can no longer power its own inserters, these solar should take over, unless of course it's at night, maybe there should have been an accumulator or two in here. Um, well, the, the inserter cycle should last more than a night, since it's too odd to do math on that, but there wasn't really enough in here anyway, since we had to add the robo ports. Yeah, these robot ports did not come with the build, which is a little surprising because uh, it does require, obviously, a logistics chest to request and then output the materials, so uh, you, you will need a robot network in here. But uh, this thing, uh, he, he rates it here in the blueprint at 2.9 gigawatts, um, which is its, I guess, max potential output maybe in short to medium bursts, uh, but Zuri and I have been watching this, and we have a passive void on here that pretty much just draws it, like, you know, whatever the max it can output, it draws that much. Um, and we've had it going, and we've noticed it actually does not have that uh, amount of utilization, and Zuri kind of crunched some numbers and went over that, so I'll let you cover all that. Sure thing. And actually, it behaves a lot like a solar panel. So it has... Uh, actually, a 3.0 gigawatt, pretty much exactly max power capacity. But when you're dealing with power plants, you have to know what its, you know, utilization factor is. And this power plant's utilization factor is about 70%, maybe a little bit more, which is actually the same as the solar panel in this game. Yeah. So you can, as long as it's in short bursts, you can go all the way up to three gigawatts but you can't sustain it there for very long um i believe her power graph should show it um like last 10 minutes would be good here kind of uh yeah i switched back for between 10 minutes and one hour when we started it up and then we removed the yeah the 10 minutes doesn't show it the one hour graph shows when we disconnected and connected the the power drain. So that shows this long term after you do a power drain. Yep, there you go. So yeah, I'm looking at this. You can see um, this flat line here is it was doing a solid three gigawatts for a little while, and you can see that it's slowly dropping. And we've uh, currently settled at 2.2 gigawatts. It may drop even lower than that. It would take quite a while to tell. Um, but what's happening, right, is these heat pipes at the end are losing their heat, which means that these uh, heat exchangers are not actually working and we're out of steam. So this has dropped down by about 800 megawatts from its uh, potential max. And that's absolutely fine. I mean, th I'd rather see this way of doing a temporary boost to power. Because if you run this less than uh, the current 2.2 gigawatts, let's say you only run two gigawatts out of this, the heat pipes will slowly heat up and store energy and a lot better than accumulators or uh, water storage, actually, steam storage. Heat pipes are way more energy dense than either of those. Yeah. So building a, a power plant this big and having a much greater than you would ever use maximum draw would be a very effective way to store energy inside the heat pipes. Yeah, that's a very good point, uh, because then, uh, you know, if you do have spikes all the way up to 3 gigawatts for one of these, um, you would be fine running at 3 gigawatts for, say, maybe, you know, a couple minutes during a biter attack or something uh, due to the heat 
the heat pipes are stored and you wouldn't have an issue. Uh, you just can't run this at max three gigawatts the whole time, uh, you know, constantly because that's not its utilization factor. It'll drop down to what we see here. I think it's holding steady at 2.2 .2 gigawatts. Yeah, it, it seems to be there now for quite a while. Um, so yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's and this is the case with pretty much all power plants, I'd say. I mean, if you if you design them with with the, the utilization in mind, you could, of course, design it so that, uh, you know, X amount of uh, heat pipes and exchangers so that they don't run out of heat and can actually run at their max forever uh, or put more heat pipes in. Zuri was messing around with it. Um, you can, like, triple up or double up in some sections to kind of counteract that. Yeah, you'd have to double up and triple up the, the heat pipe width with the way the, the heat pipes work after recent patches. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the build itself. Uh, it is kind of an interesting thing they've done here with the belts. Some good uh, technique of the belt weaving with different uh, level of belts here to um, request it in one end, use the yellow undergrounds to bring it through and insert it, and then export onto the belt, which then sideload onto this metal one into an active provider for the uh, empty fuel cells. But uh, yeah, I believe that does it overall. Uh, you know, good build. Uh, just keeping in mind the uh, you know max power output and utilization. But uh, I believe that's going to do it. Do you have any other thoughts to add for this, Zuri? Nope. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave any thoughts you have down in the comments. Blueprint for this in the description. And uh, until next time, we will catch you later. Later.